So how are we doing, everyone? I'm Dario. This is Media Box in Tiwa. Always we bring you the latest in technology. And today, yes, the Meta Quest 3. So today we have in a quick open box, a little bit of review. Let's see the first look. And also we need to compare it with the two. So we can see a little bit of the difference between these two guys. Let's do that right now. And we got it. A super quick open box. Yeah, so let's begin for the AC thing. Pretty cool. The power adapter. Round one. And USB Type-C. Yeah, for charging the Oculus Quest 3. Now, remote controls. Feels real good, and it has a better grip and compared with the two. I think this, what it is is missing the ring, and I'll show you the difference. So, a much smaller. So, I open the box, oh, wow, this guy is small. Right, compared to them using the two all the time. And another cool thing, compare, I think in the one, uh, they used to always come out the cover for the battery. Well, this time it has a little bit, uh, it has a, like a latch. So I spent almost like 10 minutes. Why this thing is not opening? I'm trying to open it, you know, doing a video. Why this thing is open? Oh, oh my God, it has a button there. So by the way, that's pretty cool. As you see, I didn't even start it yet. Still have the original. Um, so we can see. So they're real nice. But again, I got to get used to it, it feels real nice. So if we compare with the two, so you have an idea. Look, big guy, big difference. I guess maybe they remove this and they set up the sensor somewhere inside because this has to be the sensors, right? So you can see it's without the ring, but even the grip part is much smaller. The only thing this one makes is I'm used to it feel nicer hold bonds, but this one has a better grip because it's a smaller, so it fits nice, at least in my hand. Okay, so it's nice. So it's cool plus for that. We got to see, you know, when we're working with this. This is an open box. I didn't even power it up yet. But let's go to the Oculus uh, Quest 3. We'll begin. We have the sensor in the front. Also has the sensor for the lighting of the room. If we look around the side, we have the, in the volume. And by the way, this is for the wireless charger. So when you leave it that way, you can charge it. But I think it's cool if you want. Yeah, it's not gonna make a big difference. I always buy those things and in the end you never use those. By the way, for power, right now it's in the side. So pretty simple. If you need to power it up, just plug this in the tip. Oh, go ahead. You can use the wireless charger. Another plus, easy now to adjust the length. If you remember the two, we have to adjust the length. And uh, they have uh, three different settings the distance from the eye so we have to see how this one works so with this one we can focus i think it's better and easy the other one you set it up and if you want to fix it you have to take the oculus quest out and then adjust it once again we can see it's much smaller if we compare on the weight it's weight's exactly the same 1.1 pounds uh compared to the two maybe this i feel a little heavy because it's a smaller it's just a max feels that way and uh, we can see now the band. This is the standard one. You can buy the Pro. Now, this one is 128. So, they got 128 and 512. Now, I wonder why they didn't do a 256 to 512. And the two with 128 and 256. I will say, you yeah, know, through the 256 and go to 512. But this is the 128. There's a lot of add-ons. By the way, the price of this is uh, right now is $499, $650 for the 512. After you add in the Pro, after you add in the, the wireless charge and everything, it's going to cost you over 800 bucks, I think, something that way. And uh, what else? So we see that. So we have the sensors in the side. All right. Power bond. I like it down the side. Headphones, 1.8 or 3.5 millimeter. Jack right there. Sensor like the other one, and the lengths are much smaller. Now, one thing is, and we're going to test it later on, if it's perfect for my glasses. So, if you wear glasses, this is going to be better than the one and the two. I do have the one and showed the Oculus Quest 2, and we're going to compare it later on. Uh, it's better with glasses. No problem. Just wear it, and it's much easier. The other ones, when I take my glasses, when I wear the Oculus Quest 2, sometimes it pulls my glasses out. The, the only situation wearing glasses, they will get foggy. This is the only thing. But much better with this one than the two. You can remove this out. The sugar said you have to pull these two things out. But really, what you have to do for me, I did like this. I 
and then push this button here the one here and let me show you I really I've not I don't know why you want to take this out maybe there are different errands maybe if you want to mix things around this pushes a button here and that's it I want to show you that okay you can see the difference much much smaller and this is perfect I'm not sure if there's any different error for glasses but Matt I didn't have to you said it's a special this is perfect all right so we just plug it in back again and that's it just do that sometimes it tends to come off I don't know why and uh, let me show you when you wear this up all right so we're gonna go so what we have to do now is push to the side adjust it here and the only thing ha the only thing I can see is uh, to feel good you have to apply some pressure into it and maybe with the pro you fix that out it's not feels going to get loose but if, if you get too tight you got to remember after an hour it's going to bother you it's fine it's not bothering me in my years i guess this will be lower it will be stop bothering me plus when you wear uh, glasses but i feel pretty comfortable i think even it's a little better than than the oculus quest 2 and also they type the fabric they use we have to remember on the two there was a lot of the recall of problems because other people get allergies because of the foam so this is different so this is better and one thing is i can remove it and my glass is still there yeah and that was a big difference in other words a problem with this so this one is like a fabric right now compared to the an uh, oculus quest 2. yeah this this only thing happened you see again this things to to come out for some reason so we look everything yes we look all the bonds and everything else here i want to show you now the difference between the two and i bring the one by the way i just bring the one just to show you for a second but we're going to compare it to the two and we can see through time how this thing has changed right the oculus quest one put it this way the two and finally the three much smaller all right even though this looks a little smaller I'm not sure the weight. But graphics wise, when you went from the one to the two, yes, yeah, was a big difference. So we're gonna see a big difference now from the two to the three. And besides the side, weight is just the same. All right, but we see famous two is still there, the Oculus. As I guess when you're talking about the Oculus company, right? Before they got bought up by um, Facebook. So now we can see the difference between the three. Remember, uh this one is still at two ninety nine for the hundred and twenty eight and the four ninety nine or uh 256 on the Oculus quest 2 this one is 499 and 650. if you're looking on the memory on um, memory size so now this one again this is 128 and all the way to 512. for me i think it will be better to do 256 and 512. it's a big gap from 120 to 512. it's speed that the chip if the snapdragon the only difference this is the version 2 or the second edition of the snapdragon on this one if you're looking on the memory on ram is this is six gigabyte compared now to eight so maybe better to load games a little faster now the weight is exactly the same 1.1 and this is much smaller now if you're looking into the resolution we're looking at the two so the two was 1832 by 1920 per i now it's a big difference on the three now it's going to be 2064 by 22 or a pixel per eye so this one yes much much better resolution this was released i think it was released in november of uh, 2020 gotta remember we did an open box on this and this is today october 10 so we got the release day uh three years later so we can see the big difference between the two and the three besides the size that they has changed the fabric i know there was a lot of complaint people have some allergy um, skin allergy with this this one is different now and if you wear glasses much comfortable I mean, this one sometimes my it depends what type of frame you have they will pull the, the frame away and at least it's not happened with this and the big thing is just also the graphics and memory everything else now the question is 
go. We need to test it out. The idea today, um, since today is the release day, not much time to be testing this out. So, but really, I want to show you a first look, my first impression when I did open the box. My, when I looked at the remote and I said, wow, these things are small. That's the first thing I should come out of my mouth, truly. When I look, I said, wow, man, this thing is small. You know, they compare when I was just thinking a second, you know, compare with the two. And the question is, whoa, we need to test this out. So my next video, I'm going to come out and let you know what I'm thinking now on graphics side and playing a game and testing the sensors and everything else. Um, that's it. Leave me a comment. All the things I'm going to show you today will be right below this video. And I'll see you next time. Once again, I'm Dario. Bye.